Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with a late night weekly reading. I almost forgot about it because I I put back my my live reading on Tuesdays and Tuesdays were the days where I usually was trying to get my weekly messages from your person in. So here we are, weekly message from your person. Your person can represent anybody you're thinking about. Um, it could be as high a, as a love as a soulmate twin flame connection with somebody or it could be just um, about that new guy that you have a crush on or you're thinking about or you felt a connection with um, and so in, in a lot of cases the messages get kind of deep and they do kind of sound soulmatey <laughs> but um, definitely Take what resonates and leave the rest. There's going to be three piles. Um, so actually, it's picking an object tonight. So you have the um, pink opal rock. You have, this is just pink. This is like from Colorado, pink. pink. You can, I'd say light pink, uh, fuchsia, and then the blue appetite. Those are your choices. As always, pick with your intuition and not just with your eyes sometimes you can pink, pick with your senses you can kind of put your place your hand over the piles and see what usually it's the piles that are hot let's see if I can feel the rocks that one the heat of the rocks they're all pretty equal for me so that so for some of you if they if everything feels really balanced and equal, it could be a really big message of all three piles for you. So you can listen to the messages like that. You can listen to the messages simply as something soothing to listen to as well. But I do add charms, warning. <laughs> the charms kind of get a little noisy, but in the general sense, this is going to be like soothing messages from your person or about your person, also from spirit from angels, we have the romance angels, we have my deck, we have um, erotic messages as well, and we also have feelings. So this prototype deck that I made of a, per of a person's feelings, it could be, you know, male or female, but I have a an abundance of masculine images in that because I feel like the masculine doesn't get represented enough in these as far as images go in, in cards so I decided to to lean it toward the masculine but it it can actually go either way just like the masculine has to rely on the feminine pictures to describe his feelings with the tarot and other oracles so all right so enough talking, let's do some breathing and then we'll get to it. So push out your breath, take a deep breath. Close your eyes, release your breath. Open your eyes and now let them go to the stone that's meant for you. Let's begin. Okay, the first one we're gonna start off with is tarot we're gonna start off with tarot today so it's cuz I want you to see how pretty it looks in this light it's gonna be all rainbow and it'll be my rainbow backdrop for you guys now these are cards that I made they're in my Etsy well they're not actually currently in my Etsy shop they will be but um, Kind of pricey so I don't put a lot in there first of all you've got the the divine masculine magician came out to say hello he's manifesting things for you too and look it you have the um the the infinity symbol the eight and so I feel like the the portal that's coming through the lion's gate in August and every all these eights this month are going to be very important and you have one, so like things are happening really soon for you, like, you know, within the next week or so. Let's see what else. I have my microphone on, but these, I ha I'm like all wired up here. I don't want it to off to sh 
shake so much. Let's see if I can move this out of the way so it doesn't shake. Let's see if I can move this. There, that might work. Pardon, technical. I'll just pause it. Okay, <laughs> here we go. That's better. Now I got arm room here. And no worries of knocking things over. Ooh, look, you got the hermit. So the divine masculine is actually gone hermit mode and he's manifesting. I love it. He's doing a little meditation. He's taking a few, um, he's just kind of have not so much a retreat, just taking some time for himself to really really connect like really pray connect with spirit to s meditate on this pulling out all the stops all the tools he has in his disposal you know the everything that he can use to to not just to attract you but to attract the best possible outcome and he's really praying for that right now all right let's see what else We'll get one more card and then we'll go on to some messages. All right, there you go, Queen of Cups. He sees you as sweet, loving, full of love, patiently waiting there with your love cup. And his it's like his eyes on the prize. His eye is on, on the feminine, really focused and focused on the love and sending love her direction. All right, so let's see what. Speaking of love, I I left this one on top just to be, to get a give a good mood. Let's see what the love lyrics have to say. Oh, it would be perfect if <laughs> if we didn't have the roaring cars. I guess it's sort of charming, right? You tell me if you like the the roaring cars going by. Does it inspire you? Does it make you feel? Like your engines are revved up, or does it annoy you like it annoys me? It's like, come on, people. I don't need to hear that noise. All right, let's see what the Divine Masculine has to say. Or it, or your person. Just your person. Ooh, just do you. Okay, so he is kind of retreating a bit. Or somebody, your person's retreating a bit. They're probably telling you. And it's not in a mean way. It's just kind of like, hey, uh... <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. You're fine. You're nothing wrong with you. You're fine. I'm just doing... I just had to do this. He feels you in his bones, okay? Just so you know, it's this little bit of a retreat that's happening here is not about him not having a boner for you. <laughs> I don't know. Feeling bones. He feels bones, okay? His bone feels good for you. I don't know. I'm sorry. But it is late night. I'm allowed to say these things if I feel it coming to me. All right. Just kidding. That magician looks so serious. Okay. Ooh. But see, he's saying, yeah, I'm. you're pretty much on the same wavelength as me. <laughs> it's like, you got it. Yes, I have a boner for you. Our mental synchronization can have what one explanation. You and I are just meant to be. So you guys are synchronized. You're thinking the same thing. All right thinking the same thing who is this person this could be somebody more than just a crush but let's see what else we'll do one more message and then we'll go to some sexy sexy messages let's see sexy messages Ooh, you are mine there you go so I feel like this somebody you already know and it's not feels a little more like um, somebody that's more than a crush because they're they're acting kind of possessive of you. Let's see. Uh, all right, we've got what of our what of what are our sexy messages here? We got what's going on? Hmm. Sexy time. Sexy time. Ooh. Okay, a lot going on. 
Well, okay, so the waiting part kind of fits with the just do you. So yeah, you're waiting, you're cool with it, everything's fine. Uh, and it's your choice, you know, it is your choice to wait. It's not like he's bossing you around. You, and in the waiting, the waiting there is um, stimulation in the waiting. There's excitement in the waiting. Because look what's coming up. You got all this kissing going on. You've got kissing, passionate, indulgent, sweet, deep kissing. Look at all that kissing. I think you guys really have a mouth connection for sure. It could be wait. Also, you know, when when we dream of sex and dream of kissing somebody, I think it means we're gonna that you're gonna communicate with them soon. Like you're gonna the next morning maybe even you're gonna talk to them on the phone or something. But yeah, or there's something about your voice that he he hears your voice and it's it's this kind of I don't know I think symbolically definitely in dreams symbolically that just means so this one's a really nice I mean this is like a really tasting I think his tongue is right there it looks like oh. and that one she's on top you know this one so it's kind of a both feeling it's like a little bit of the, him, the masculine drive and a, a little bit of the feminine it's a nice balance going on here very nice so after a little bit of a wait, and because you were patient and you were a good girl and you waited, <laughs> look what you're going to get. Some good stuff coming to you. All right, let's see. Um, what are their feelings? What kind of feelings do they have? Let's do give a little shuffle. Okay, one's enough because it's hard. it's hard to keep these guys together. They're so slippery. All right, here we go. What else is he feeling about you or she, your person? What is your person feeling about you? What else? What are they feeling? What is your person feeling about you? Mm. That was sort of like a fish. I jumped up, but I went back in. What is your person feeling about you? Ooh, ooh. They feel stimulated. See, they have that boner. <gasps> they feel a little alienated. I love this card, though. Uh, this, is a, this says, I know I'm a little weird, but you don't have to be afraid of me. I'm harmless. Wink, wink. So this, if you want a clue to who this is about, this is somebody that's that you possibly know that's kind of a little unusual. They might be feeling a little, um, because they're sort of eccentric or unusual, they might be feeling a little self-conscious right now um, <laughs> because they're, you know, they want to reach out to you. They want to do these things to you. They're just a little bit worried how you're going to react to them. Like, are you going to like them? Is it going to feel how they imagine? Is it going to be all those things that they dreamt of? Or are it, are you going to be freaked out by them and a little bit like, I don't know, they're stimulated by you though. They're saying, you're so hot, you turn me on, okay? So they're, they're feeling hot towards you. I think they're a little bit worried how you feel about them. Let's see. You know what? I got an idea. So let's see what, let's see what these messages have to say. This could be the response, or this could be additional messages. Whoop, this one kind of came out. Let's go ahead and see what that one says. Please don't cry or be sad of because of me. Okay. Okay. Oh, and then they got, you're my angel. We'll just take those two, because those kind of are predominant. Hmm. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Let's see romance angels I like got a song in my head I like I told I was telling I was telling you guys in the live that I was been singing a lot lately all right let's see what the romance angels have to say you know what I'm gonna scoot this down a little bit because 
getting hard to get everything in the shot. But we'll keep our love doves in the shot. <laughs> okay. What do the romance angels have to say? Ooh, getting to know each other, see? Don't worry about, the masculine doesn't need to worry about the alienation part. Like, you've had a chance to get to know each other or you're getting to, it all it takes is a, a little bit more getting to know each other. So let's just to look at a couple of scenarios here. One could be, you know, like, you know, crush or something like that. All you have to do is kind of get to know each other a little bit more and then you'll see, oh yeah, you know, they're cool. I like them. I dig them. They dig me. It's all good. Um, they don't, you know, they're not, they don't have to be scared of me and they're not. They may actually, the let's say the feminine here is very attracted to the masculine because they're so different and unusual, you know, maybe that's what appeals to them. Now, if it's a twin flame kind of situation, maybe it's something that's been so long in the 5D that the, the 3D physical kissing and hugging and touching and stuff can be can be a little bit scary because you haven't done anything there yet. It'll be like being a virgin or something, you know? And so so I think that and there'll be that there'll be those moments that you have between each other to get yourself get to know each other or reveal your innermost selves to each other and your bond will deepen and that will transfer into um, the sexual connection that you're hoping for right I mean all those deep feelings are there you know but I think it starts off kind of like this you kind of waiting for them to make a move then with the right amount of time and feeling secure about themselves then they'll be able to do those things that you were hoping for <laughs> I just see oh some good beautiful kissing I had I've had some really nice kissing dreams with my twins so yeah that's that would be something to look forward to if that would, would be coming up for you guys what else we got bones and yeah feeling in the bones in your mind yeah it's just kind of um there's some kind of separation or distance or awkward feeling or something that's kind of like disjointed here although he's doing his manifestation maybe it's because he he pulled away a little bit retreated to to keep an eye on you um we're going to use these as like a surprise clue okay this will be like a little our little future clue what's happening in the future With our little future clue the little monkey the monkey is my my Chinese zodiac sign and when I saw these I was like oh I definitely have to get these and these are like they're kipper so they're kind of like with um, that certain kipper formula which I like too besides the Lennerman kipper is kind of fun ooh good lady nice you're the good lady so, if the guy here is worried if you're going to be a good lady or not, then you are. I don't think there's any fear of that. You're a good lady. Ooh, you're going to get a pleasant late letter. And court person. So, this could lead to something um, legal or something binding, something, something having to do with legal matters. I like that peacock back there, too that is very is symbolic a lick and you got a baboon and you got um, this little elf on his shoulder very interesting <laughs> some interesting things are about to happen and the court person it's kind of like it's almost like judgment it's kind of like Archangel Gabriel in, in a sense They're, a judgment's going to come down upon this situation you know spiritual um you know from outside forces but also a soul decision uh, a judgment within your soul or within your person's soul that's a little deep i know for a crush but it's possible anyway um let's do some charms Ooh, i feel like doing runes too but it's getting late so i'm gonna go ahead and just do charms for you let's do charms okay Let's 
see. What do you got here? You've got cool idea. Let's see. And you, look, you have the um the you have the what is this called? Crystal ball, kind of like the what the monkey's holding the crystal ball. So there's definitely something in the near future happening here. See, you've got Jack Skellington. I, that kind of reminds me of the alienated guy. Like he's just a little eccentric, a little different, you know. But he's a good guy. But, oh no, he's a naughty guy. Something come. I don't think he's a naughty guy, but I think something is trying to block this situation. This is the Tie Fighter. These are the bad guys trying to, to get in the way to to cause trouble. We've got Tinkerbell though. She's got. She's like the a magician. She's going to manifest. She's going to use her powers to overcome. Play the world. You know what? With the world card uh, word here, I feel like maybe the Tie Fighter has to do. It's almost like this thing, plague, like the plague. <laughs> I feel like that has to do with the virus and the separation because of the pandemic. And then you have the home and, you know, everybody's staying within. Now, a lot of times I read the home as happy home, sharing a home, moving, uh, finding a place where you have a date, like a hotel or something. So that's still possible. It's just, um, it could also be very much that there's a social distancing and staying home, basically. So... That could be it for a lot of you guys too. Yeah, and then we have the 1984. This is starting to take on a new meaning. Before I was just kind of using it for the world and the wings and all of that, but it just sort of makes me think of Orwellian times and the and the times that we live in. And so that could be affecting this connection a lot. Then we have um, the mermaid. Um, it's about speaking your truth and singing your songs. <laughs> And, oh, these are stuck together. We've got the number 15. Maybe August 15th will be an important day for you. Tennis racket. You've got, oh, you've got an invitation. This is a Judas Priest ticket, but I feel like it's, um, but I usually refer to this as the invitation because it looks like he's holding it in his hand and inviting you. And then we've got the snowflake. That's exactly what this Jack Skellington fellow is like. He's very unique, one in a million. No two snowflakes are alike. He's a very special person. And then some light movement exercise. The tennis racket can also represent exercise in sports and outdoors and things like that. But a lot of times the tennis racket um, can also be significant, significant, signify <laughs> that the ball is in your court or the ball is in his court, somebody's court, right? Somebody's choice. This is what I want, plan to do tomorrow. Go to the beach. I have been dying to go to the beach and at every opportunity something's happened like hurricanes and weddings, you know? <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, spend some time in the sun, connect with nature. Don't be afraid to have some leisure time. Leisure is good. It, it makes you feel better and it soothes your soul so do those things okay all right interesting um vibrations here interesting shall we pick um i was i brought out the fairy dust in case any fairy dust showed up but i'll go ahead and shuffle a fairy dust card for you let's see Ooh, backpack see Rest and relaxation, leisure, backpacking, get your compass, adventure is yours, get out of the city, and enjoy the outdoors. Exactly. So, I and that could be re related to how you guys meet up, you know? You have some kind of plan that goes, is about going outdoors. All right, well, I'm not going to do a big um, commercial right now because it is late night, I'm getting a little sleepy, but I'm just going to... Um, just give you guys a big warm hug because I got my big warm fuzzy sweater on so I could give you guys a big warm hug and kisses and say thank you so much for stopping by um hey comment below and let me know what what you want the next reading to be about I'm probably I might try to go to the beach tomorrow and then Friday I want to do a, another pick a card but I'm I'm real I'm not really sure what subject matter to go with so you guys let me know what you want to hear next okay guys so I'm going to move on to the next pile of course you know if you need anything check out the description box 
and email me, you know, just straight email me. It's it's Art Lady, J A S my initials and Gmail. All right, I'm on to the next. Alrighty, and here's pile number two with the pink rock. Pink rock. And we're gonna get started with the tarot first. So we kind of get like a little story of what's going on here. That can help you resonate too with this pile. If you if you hear something that just doesn't sit right, then move on to the other another pile, or maybe you know it's not meant for you. Sometimes that happens. You know, it's, you don't always find yourself within the reading. Okay, Let's shuffle again. Let's see what we got. Okay, all right. This this one always comes out for me. It is the Seven of Swords. So it looks like some of you might take this as deceit, but I think there's more to this story. So I feel like somebody here is trying to get away with their possessions, but they were being they're stopped on the road maybe by some kind. Of, this could be the block. There's that sword right there, and there's this um, this guy who looks very smug, like maybe he's doing something dubious, and um, and he see how his pants are torn, so maybe he really isn't like an official person. But the it's almost like they're a married couple or want to get married, and they're trying to to uh, go go away with their belongings and. It could be somebody else's belongings, but it could very well be his belongings, and this guy's trying to steal from him. So just kind of see that there is a possibility here that if it's not you or your person that you're thinking of, there could be somebody trying to mess with your relationship or your goods or your belongings, you know? Let's see what else. Don't let, you know, don't let that worry you because this doesn't even have to manifest. Now that you know that there's an energy possibly there, you can overcome it. See, you got the fool, which is really good. So have faith, you know, in the journey. Um, have faith in, in spirit that they're guiding you in the right direction. And yeah, go ahead and take those chances and take that leap. You, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path. It's kind of the on the right path card, the 777 card. Follow your heart, follow your instincts and your intuition. If, and even if on the outside this lo situation looks dubious, and you, but you know there's something, it's kind of like the Aladdin thing. I, I can only go back to that, but, but it's almost like Jasmine understood instantly because she was doing it too. She was out there, out and about, disguised. So she immediately um, forgave him because she could totally see his point of view. It's those of us who judge because we don't put ourselves in the other person's shoes that, you know, we set up our, ourselves for sadness and disappointment because we judge. Looks like a, a tower moment's about to happen here. Some big changes for you. Also, I was just driving around today thinking, the tower could very well, I mean, represent weather. Natural disasters <laughs> are a common thing, you know, um, lately anyway. Like, so nature does things, you know, hailstorms and hurricanes and tornadoes and mudslides and earthquakes. And these kinds of things can also get in the way of relationships, you know. So nature just itself can get in the way. It's funny, I, I listen to... Uh, I don't even know if she was an astrologer. Pro yeah, some kind of astrologer. Years ago, and she was talking how about... She was kind of talking about the com comparing tw certain twin flame relationships to certain major storms and rain and weather. And I'm like... It was, it was kind of interesting and confusing at the same time. Like, how can that be related? But it, it can be related. Like, sometimes the, the love that you start to share with somebody that's that deep can shake things up. Also now, on a shallow point of view, just for crushes or in, or just mild interests here, um, I feel like there is, there's just a shake up in the situation. There's gonna be a change. 
<sighs> the Knight of Swords here. He he's about to tell the truth, and maybe that causes some major changes in somebody's relationship. All right, let's see. Now this is kind of serious, but but the good news is you're taking a chance, and you should you should take that leap of faith, even if it means uh, that things get shaken up because it, you can't progress sometimes unless you just tear down the foundation that that wasn't solid to begin with you know you have to create a a solid structure a solid world but the only way you can is this if you sometimes if you take down what's our what's up you know what's there so <laughs> I might, you know, I don't know. You guys comment below if anybody's interested in political <laughs> readings or uh, world events or anything like that. Ooh, he wants to do bad things with you, and he didn't mean to hurt you. So, like, this almost makes me think he wants to do, he wants to hurt you. Like, he wants to spank you. He wants to hurt you, but not real badly. <laughs> Just enough. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. There's so many words in the silence between us. So maybe there's, you know, a little bit of separation or or silence. Or like Curly Girl who had, who's been, I think it was Curly Girl, but I don't remember who. It's been two days since her cancer talked to her. You guys, two days is nothing compared to years, you know. But I know if you had to wait years, you wouldn't be waiting. A lot of you wouldn't be waiting. And you don't have to. There's no no rules saying that you have to wait. I live with you in my dreams, all right? So this is definitely uh, seems more like more than a crush relationship here. It, it does feel very deep and like um, complicated, a little bit complicated, like a lot going on, like a lot of parties maybe involved and um, a lot of trust involved and leaps of faith and just... But there's also an underlying depth and desire, a connection. I think the silence between you means that you have a psychic connection because you're also living with each other in your dreams. Let's see what your sexual connection is. Okay. sticking to the to my sequence <laughs> let's see what your sex sexy world's about what's the sexy world what's this one ooh clingy I don't think this is such a bad one <laughs> this one's saying give me some space but I think kind of might mean hey step back a little so I can check you out you know like he wants to really look at you and and look at your form and your sexy and your sex appeal but it could also represent that right now he needs he is get trying to get a little space to figure things out but I definitely think that he's gonna make a strong move towards you so that's why I'm not sure if that's actually space as in um give me some space or step back so I can check you out ooh see you got ecstasy Des surrender to your desires sometimes um, you know well a lot of times let's say the masculine can or in the feminine too like can have so much passion built up they need a little space <laughs> or else they'll lose control right but uh, I think they're, or they want to make you lose control Why they catch their breath. Oh, and then, oh, this is such a mixed, mixed bag here. But I feel like this is kind of, um, this is saying that you're whole and complete. Okay, so I feel like it, this one and somebody, oh, guys, this one I actually have a, I have I have these written down. I'm going to surprise you with my actual meaning that I was writing a book and I don't I only started like on the first the first part of the alphabet all, I think to maybe C. So I don't think I have ecstasy, but I think I have clingy and alone. So I'll read it to you what I wrote down. Okay. 
So for alone, I have, alone I'm whole and complete. You may be his other half, but know that you are wonderful, beautiful, sexy, completely and whole with or without him. This is, um, I, I also made a note, gender and transgenders and put yourself where you see yourself, you know, it could be his, her, whatever. So just, you know, um, decide where you put yourself. But um, there, there'll be times where you read for yourself or read for another. There's a masculine energy and a feminine energy in each of us, but also a yearning to connect with the opposite of our basic whole. So you may, all right, so some of it could have to do, uh, the sexual position or kink could represent masturbation or self pleasure or voyeurism right and I feel felt kind of voyeurism here like this pulling back and checking you out so the visual here is a female form which may represent the feminine or female but it can represent a masculine or, or um, uh, whatever because the message is about being whole and complete with or without your without your mate you may be their other half, but know that you are wonderful, beautiful, sexy, alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. That's what I wrote for that. Um, all right. And so did I write something for clingy? Yes. This one says, give me some space. Some couples need room to breathe or space between times of lovemaking to allow for rest and recharging sexual energies. There are moments when pulling away and being... Uh, the work of art on display lends itself to growing enthusiasm and arousal. This um, card can also signify a, a kind of fetish uh, to clingy clothing, you know, or seductive lingerie. And it could represent... <laughs> I'll start all right. So I got kind of deep into this here. And then it just... I mean, it just kind of like, oh, it kind of took a lot out of me writing these things. Uh, it could represent a sexual desire to be caught in the rain, for instance, or experience like a wet t-shirt competition or something like that, you know, maybe that's, where, you know, I don't know. There's, um, there, there's a bit of voyeur, but, and exhibitionist portrayed in this image. So there's a little bit of both, right? And, uh, the visual is you know the hard or the large nipples which is pretty obvious that can be also an arousing thing that they for both of you <laughs> and um to love making sexual position so each card i was thinking of having kind of like what re what sexual position does this refer to and or kinks and this could represent latex or clingy fetish and it can also represent basically emotional attachment. So there you go. And that's as far as I got. <laughs> anyway, you guys got a special treat. You got the actual official, unofficial book version of of the um, erotic enchantment. Yes. All right. Let's see what else, what messages do they have? Here we go. Here we go, some messages. That's why I write the messages on the cards so I don't have to make a book out of them. <laughs> but it's nice to kind of get deeper into it, right? The reason why I don't always get too deep into them because I want you guys to figure out what they mean for you, you know? Let's see. And it's, you know, this is a message is not necessarily a sex um, video. <laughs> Look, you got optimistic. He, they're feeling like things between you're going well, which puts a spring in my step. So your person is excited, like feeling happy, things feeling peppy, spring in their step. And renewed energies. I don't know what's come over me, but I'm feeling so exhilarated and alive. Wow. So I feel like there's an interesting progression here. I think something that started off sort of a, as a strange uh, encounter where... I maybe somebody was caught, but there's they took the leap of faith, and the tower moment occurred, and everything after that was kind of like whew, interesting, kind of a happy feeling started to come. 
There are so many words between the silence between us. I want to do bad things with you, and I live with you in my dreams. Very interesting, very interesting energies here. Do we need any more of these? Let's see. I need any more. What else can we say? What else? I feel like they're done with these cards. Oh, here's one more. A little bit of confusion too. Okay, so there's still a little confusion left. Feeling a little bit uncertain about what to do next, give me a sign. So this could have been the earlier feeling and then then the happy stuff came, you know? Interesting, very interesting. Let's see what else, let's see what the, the love notes have to say from Queen Sugar's love notes. Ooh, we've got, you are everything that I could ever want or need. Perfect. Let's see what else. And do you forgive me? What did they do? They hurt they hurt you somehow. Hmm. They did it's kinda like maybe they're just dragging along in this this sordid situation. They don't want to hurt you. Like this girl right here, she looks kinda like, ugh, what's going on here? <laughs> but you know, she's sticking with this situation. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. So I think the, I got a criticism saying this isn't messages from my person. Some of them are messages. Some of them are general atmosphere and feelings and things that are going to happen. But these are messages. <laughs> They're messages. It's just like how it connects though, you know. That, that part, you know, like I, I feel like I can't do all the work for you that, you know, you either resonate or you don't resonate with the pile and then you have to make the connections for yourself, right? All right, let's see, what else? Ooh, reconciliation. So this could have been um, an ex or somebody that you knew or somebody that you've been in, in separation with, they're coming back into your life. And maybe that's why they're saying they're sorry they hurt you. And, you know, do you forgive them? So maybe if you can forgive them, something good will start up again between the two of you. You know, let's see if the Kipper will clarify for me. Because Kipper's my little monkey. So we'll see if the Kipper can help us out here. Okay. Let's get some cl a clarifying. This is kind of like the clue, the general clue of the, the reading. Let's see what that is. Oh, rich girl. We had the good lady in the first one and the rich girl in this one. So definitely... I feel like I'm talking to, to the Divine Feminine. And, oh, see, grief and adversity. Something did kind of, difficult did kind of happen. But you're gonna overcome this grief and, and adversity. It definitely appears that you will <laughs> because you're gonna have your ecstasy. And then again, the, 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 the uh, it could have to do with world events it could have to do with weather and things like that it could have to do with somebody trying to step in and cause trouble maybe let's try to get an another card and see if that helps Ooh, prison interesting somebody feels really stuck somewhere feeling stuck in a certain situation like they're we're going to build a prison. <laughs> They're stuck in prison or something. It could be literal prison, but it could also represent, you know, feeling, you know, stuck inside a home and you can't get out, stuck inside a scenario that you're having trouble getting out of. Let's ask the charms. Let's see if we can clarify this. Oop. 
It seems like everybody's getting 1984. So I feel like, oh my gosh, things are just rough in the world, right? We're kind of living in an Orwellian type world where things are just weird. And if you don't know what that means, you know, read the book 1984. It's funny because 1984 came out in high school when I read the book 1984. And I was like, this is nothing how the world is right now. We were so lucky in the 80s because it was pretty chill. Well, I mean, for the most part, we did have, um, you know, AIDS was a big sad thing that occurred in the 80s. So we always have to deal with something like, like that. And it's it's kind of how you react to it, where, where you find your place in the world. Will you be an activist? Will you be a supporter? Will you be an ally? What will you do, you know? But look, you've also, like in the midst of the chaos, you know, it's kind of like in the midst of chaos, you might actually find yourself on a date. <laughs> so there is a possibility you can get around these things. If not a full out dinner, then at least maybe coffee together. You've got Texas here. It's interesting, too, that Texas, this one is Tut's Theater Under the Stars. And I actually saw a commercial for Theater Under the Stars. And, like, they can't be touring. That's crazy. But, it, you know, had to do with, um, like, Broadway mu musicals and operettas and things like that. My dad belonged to them. So maybe there's some kind, there's going to be a date in Theater and Under the Stars. And Billy Idol, you know, maybe a rock concert. Maybe your person is like your rock star. You've got the marble, which represents, um, the blue one represents love and Venus. You've got, uh, you got the Scrooge, so grumpy and crusty on the outside, but sweet on the inside. The Scrooge reminds me, like, maybe of Cancer or an Aries, maybe <laughs> Aries rising. My dad sort of reminded me of Donald Duck, but um, who, I, who was an Aries, actually, born the same year as my dad in 1937. So that's funny. But And so Donald Duck was the perfect person to play the Scrooge. But see at the end how he valued love above money. And that's what, I think that's the message of him. You know, there's a lot of people get really focused on the material things. And then they forget about the love. You've got um, the Hard Rock Cafe and Save the Planet. Oh, some big changes with the planet. Saving the planet. Working on it together to save the planet. This could be a, a twin flame relationship because if, if your destiny has to do with saving the planet, then very well. You're going through some major changes here so you can be together, so you can fulfill your destiny for some of you. <laughs> There's this big direction that you're headed in. You know, you have to decide, make a decision. I thought I saw two cats here. Oh yeah, look, you got twin kitties. These, are, these kitties came from the um, Massage Envy ladies and so twins you know like we are Siamese if you please and then you have um you've got your fork so you good eating see that's part of your date family you also have New York so a New York Texas connection you got 12 maybe something's happening on the 12th the 12th is my godson's birthday. We have three. I think that's today, isn't it? You got a leaf. Oh, that makes me think I should pull out my, uh, uh, not my leaves. My leaves? My trees. My tree cards. <laughs> uh, you got the, the key to his heart or her heart. Look, here's the arrow. The arrow and the compass is kind of like leading you into a certain direction and you have protection as well you've got um the uh oh saint francis of assisi with the, with the with the animals and some riding bicycle getting out pixie dust this is magic and they're going to take care of things for you the fairies will sprinkle magic dust on the situation so you can fly. You s maybe something happening on the 19th or something happening on the 9th. Busy as a bee. There's love here. 
there's exercise so there's a combination of alone and together right i feel like definitely connection is spiritual but there's certain things are going on there's some some kind of grief there's some kind of feeling trapped there's some kind of feeling caught but then there's the tower moment and then this beautiful sexual attraction that you guys have together there's an inspiration coming you got um what's his name Sven or Olaf is he Olaf I forgot I think he's Olaf anyway <laughs> the little snowman guy from Frozen so hmm Frozen maybe something is is frozen right now still like a little snowman we got the rocking horse so th there could be some fertility going on right now and you got messages from birds telling you that's when I should really get the feathers to see what bird is giving you a message but I have the fairies too <laughs> I'll turn to the fairies and then we have the mermaid you know this is talking about deep and sweet um, communication here I gave I, I did fairies for first pile so I'm going to give you guys some fairies too what is your fairy message maybe the fairies can just like clear up the whole situation with one word for me this one is all over the place travel of all the things you can do travels in the cards for you very interesting and see any travel except for a bicycle here it's there's some kind of secret thing going on here because there's a connection there's deep desires there's kind of a I feel a block and an inability to to express things out loud but a return of somebody a tower moment a breaking free maybe a breaking free a travel a traveling or you know travel has something to do with the person that you're thinking about maybe they're a travel agent or something like that you know all right you guys well that one was weird <laughs> but uh if it if you like that definitely give it a thumbs up you know and or and tell me in the comment section how it how you interpret it and and how it relates to your situation if this is the one that you chose also um you know if it didn't resonate you're welcome to look at the other ones and also uh let me know what your what kind of readings other readings you guys are interested in the in the comment section because um i definitely want to do another pick a card uh, tomorrow I might take a little break to the beach and then probably Friday I'd like to do another pick a card so let me know what kind of subject matter you are interested in I mean we could do the world at large I, I feel like the world of view is kind of keeps calling to me but I'm not really sure how to approach it and I don't know if approaching this subject would offend people or bother people if you're more interested in escaping from the world problems and ha having an enjoyable reading <laughs> but the world is like he's coming out in these readings anyway it looks like a date though guys something interesting is going on here it's kind of sneaky i think a little bit sneaky all right well i hope you like that i'm going to move on to the next if you need anything check out the description box you just push that arrow and then you can see the links and then the, at the bottom of the links is my email address all right, moving on. All right, and here's pile number three with the lapis las, not lapis lazuli, that's the appetites. All right, let's start with tarot first and see what kind of story we have here. We had a crazy story in number two and was having trouble interpreting what was going on. Because I think some of it was like deceptive undercover, like not meant for me to even understand. Let's see about you guys. All fresh and new for pile three. <laughs> Let's see. I could use some a happy story. What's going on for you guys? Hmm. You got the hero fence. Nice. Higher learning. A teacher type and this could be about going back to school and some of you being maybe being a teacher out there or some of you might have kids going back to school right now or this could also be about your higher self you know trusting in that voice 
within. I mean, the masculine is, is really in tune with their higher self, which is really good. And this one is about, you know, giving and receiving and generosity and charity, kindness, feeding your children or feeding your pets, you know. That's sweet. There could be, a, I feel like, very possible teacher here, combination teacher, uh, stay home mom, or something like that. <laughs> Let's see what else. Let's see. Ooh, we got the moon. Somebody is connected in the dreams, you know. Some parts of, of this connection can seem sort of like an illusion or sort of um, mis mysterious, you know, like kind of hard to explain. But this this particular moon card, which I chose, <laughs> I feel is a little more optimistic. It's kind of like having faith in, in your connection and, and that connection that you have in your dreams and being able to interpret those dreams because I feel like that's where we get where we lose track like we'll have dreams but we don't have to interpret them and so then we act kind of lost about them but if you if you act, are proactive and you take that dream and you try to figure it out then that dream is actually um, a tool for your manifestation for your communication for your connection so I think there's a beautiful connection here, a beautiful like psychic connection, dream world connection. So it could be, um, this could be one of those twin flame 5D things, could, but it could also be like um, meeting somebody and being impressed with them and feeling that connection. You've got the six of wands, so like there could be somebody famous here or a public figure or, or well known. And not just, well, it could be, like, as simple as just being beloved by the community, um, that their family adores them, thinks they're wonderful, or it could be somebody that, um, that yeah, it's, it's well-known within their bigger circle, like their community, or well-known in a certain circles like this, like kindreds and, and YouTube or whatever the cause may, case may be but I feel like wherever you know this person is coming in like the conquering hero like triumphant and happy and feeling good so that's nice I'll leave it at that like um when this card comes out sometimes in private readings I kind of see it as as like um you manifesting the person manifesting their masculine into their lives and being really well received and everybody liking them especially their lady <laughs> the lady the the feminine here okay let's see what else what do our does our masculine want or it doesn't have to be masculine what is your person want to say what does your person want to say this could be you or your person doesn't have to be what the picture looks like necessarily. Ooh, you are sweet perfume like a desert rose. <laughs> and I would be honored to meet you. Very nice. Let's see what else. I will love you to my dying day. Sweet. Very sweet. I like this one so far. I'll get one more. Hey, that was a good flip. I didn't they just say that I live with you in my dreams. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so dreams are real important here. And look, we got this crescent moon. Dreams are real important here. So remember that they live with you in their dreams. And make sure that you write down your dreams and you let them know that you're thinking about them by you can give them dream messages enter your dreams and talk to them you know you can find out how to do that i have a book called conscious dreaming where you can actually enter into your dreams and 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 figure things out all right so let's see what are their sexy feelings for you sexy feelings let's see sexy feelings Sexy. 
Oops. Didn't mean to shake it. Sexy feeling. Hey guys, I was having a sore throat and I took some time off and feeling better. And then I started getting dizzy, and now my throat's starting to feel funny again. I swear, <laughs> this is making me very annoyed. All right, I'm not gonna let it affect my energy. I was feeling really excited tonight to do a message for you guys. I was feeling yes, spirit was calling me to do this. Let's see what their sexy is. <laughs> Ooh, submissive heart. So this could be your sexy, I am yours. This is what you could be telling your divine masculine. Or if you are masculine watching and you are thinking of a feminine, then this could be your feminine that you're thinking of. So interesting. Let's see what else. Submissive heart. Or it could be anything. You know, like put yourself where you see yourself. If you're um, same-sex relationship, it could also have to do with that. And this one's also waiting. So this, the submissive heart is waiting here. It's your choice though, right? It's the feminine's choice. That's, that's the important part. Like, you don't have to wait if you don't want to. They choose to because they feel it's right. And also, it could be stimulating to wait. It could heighten the excitement by waiting for it. That excitement can could grow <laughs> all right let's see what what his feelings are or her feelings or your person's feelings what are your person's feelings oh they feel like celebrating celebrate break good times i'm getting dyslexic celebrate good i was about to say celebrate bug times celebrate good times it's time to party i have a gift for you let's share this special day together maybe it's your birthday maybe at christmas i feel like also i don't know what what drew me to pick that picture but i feel like maybe some of you are gonna have a very merry christmas <laughs> a celebratory christmas Let's see, what else does he feel, or she, your person? How is your person feeling? How does your person feel? Oh, I like the, the animals. They feel, ooh, they're anticipating, looking forward to what is next to come, eagerly awaiting the results and rewards. They see waiting, <laughs> anticipating. See, so there's you can't tell that she's eager, but she could be eagerly awaiting here. Yeah, the results or rewards. So, what could the reward be? Hmm, what could it be? Let's see. I think I resonate with this pile more than the other ones. Okay, this is my pile. Is this your pile? Everybody pick pile three, it's the fun one. No, pile one was good too. Pile two was just confusion. Confusion. All right, let's see. What else is he feeling? Ooh, okay, so pile th two was also feeling a little bit caged. Feeling trapped and a little stuck. It could be just cabin fever. I need to be where you are. Yeah, I feel like you guys possibly are in separation. <sighs> or... Um, you know, if it's a crush, it could be somebody that you're feeling good with, connecting with, anticipating that next party or the next date or something like that. And, you know, like maybe the social distancing stuff kind of like putting a damper on things. Like you can't actually go to like a bar, but maybe you can go to a restaurant and there's not all these restaurants, not, not, not all of them are open. You kind of have to pick and choose and... But I feel like the cage thing just means that you might break out, you know? Like, if this is a point that you can't, this is unsustainable. Like, eventually you're gonna get out of that cage. <laughs> or, or your person will. Okay, let's see. What else do they have to say? 
What else? Ooh, okay. Do you forgive me? What's going on? Making you wait? Maybe this has been an ongoing situation. We will be together again. That's good. Let's try one more. This kind of does tie in with number two, I have to say, though. I am in love with you, and I don't know how to tell you. Mm hmm. Well, let's see if the romance angels will give you a hint. Ooh, look. You have the... On the bottom of the deck is that unicorn that's all caged up, too. So let's see. What's going to happen here? Let's see. Ooh, a bunch came out. I guess I'll take them all. You deserve love. You were lovable. Let, con let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And addictions are affecting your romantic life. Codependency. So there could be some kind of... Um, it could be a third party. It could be actual addictions. You know, alcohol or something like that. But, hmm... Let go of it could have to do with this um, wanting to control things. You know, like if you break it down, it the let's just say when you when you do the law of attraction and you manifest first, you kind of have to you love yourself first. You have to kind of see the situation as possible, and you love yourself, and you deserve it, and you you know you. A lot of people feel like, oh, there's not enough riches for the whole world. Yes, there is. There's enough abundance for everyone. You don't have to make any sacrifices because you think somebody deserves it more than you. Everybody can win, right? So think of it like that. So and then let go of the how. You know, don't don't try to force your agenda. Let the universe decide what how it's going to happen if you know what you want just focus on that and let go of the how so this could be like a controlling thing it does kind of look like a family situation like um you know it could be this kind of family maybe a family drama or family problems that's kind of in the way or whole you know controlling you or you're con trying to control it yeah. Anyway, I guess I don't like pile number three anymore. <laughs> uh, but I like, you know, you deserve love because that's how, that's how, you know, that's the best way to approach all of these situations is, is to focus on the love and think of what's best for everybody involved and don't try to control the how. Let, let the universe decide how everything's going to play out. Let's see what the monkey, the little psychic monkey has to say <laughs> these are the kipper kipper cards they're the mystical kipper i i think they're german and i got them on ebay that's another place you can look for uh, tarot decks and i haven't done that in a while look for for unusual i like to look for unusual decks let's see and i'm the sign of the monkey and and Chinese zodiac, so it's my little monkey. Let's see. Okay, let's see what the monkey has to say. Oh, the main person. Hmm. So maybe the masculine is watching this. You are the main person. And you're watching this, and this is saying you should let go of control and let the universe figure things out. You deserve love, though. You deserve the best, the highest love, and you are lovable. And you're, per, you're, if you're, fe if you are connected with the feminine, she's waiting. She's submissive. She will praise you when you come in. She for, I mean, you can ask her if, if she forgives you, and I think she does. I think she is also in love with you. You live with each other in your dreams. You're like. A sweet teacher type with good with kids and she's also good with kids and animals like 
you're a really nice couple, I think. There's just kind of like a situation that makes you feel like you're in a cage. But there's something that you just can't control. But you're, I feel like you're a good man. Okay, so this is like if I'm talking to a man. But if I'm talking to a female, then maybe you're, this is like the story of your person, you know, if he's a man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Put yourself where you see yourself. You're either feminine, masculine, male, female, cross watcher, or querent, but they don't all have to be the same thing. A lot of love here, a lot of love. I'm gonna pick another kipper and see what else we can get. What other messages? What other? What is? What else is playing out in this story? <laughs> that one kind of flew over. Oh, there's a bereavement. I hate when these cards come out. But actually, when I, I read this one, this is kind of like the death card, which talks about, you know, a rebirth, a renewal, getting rid of something so something new can come in. Ugh, that's hard. But, yeah. But it's it's also similar to the cocoon and, you know, the butterfly breaking out of the cocoon and you know, the caterpillar, I mean, goes into the chrysalis and, and then turning into a butterfly. And so it's it seems a little sad, especially in that cocoon phase, you know, the coffin phase, that still phase. It seems like they're not there anymore, but no, they're going through a transformation, right? There's a big transformation coming. All right, <laughs> let's see what the charms have to say. Okay. Oh, I finally painted my red thread and now it looks like a, a rope with blood on it I don't know but it's the red thread is supposed to mean that connection like that special connection with that special person and it doesn't always mean like you're going to be end up together but you just but you have this connection that you can't deny alright and then you have um, Jasmine, she's feeling caged, you know, she wants to get out, and and she does kind of have this, uh, a scenario, not with kids, but, like, maybe with her dad, because he doesn't want to let her go, because he's scared she, he's going to lose her. You have Mr. Spock, uh, so, somebody logical here, um, today it came to me that Spock could mean live long and prosper, so, this is not about death. This is about life, and it's living long and prospering. It's it's going through transformation, so you can have an amazing like second chapter to your life, or third or fourth chapter. So it's it's a long life and a long journey. See, it's a journey. You're driving in your car. <laughs> I'm driving in my car. Yeah, yeah. All right, you've got road, true idea the letter d you got names so you need some scrabble you got ever you've got tinkerbell with her pixie dust you have the marble which is the blue one is about venus and love you have the crown which is good because it's like divine feminine divine masculine emperor empress energy kind of like you're ready you're there you're ready for good luck. I feel like this is the bereavement's actually kind of good card. It's kind of like you have you have evolved now into the empress and emperor energy and you're ready to be together, you know? It's just a matter of the timing now, I guess. Year to date or your divine <laughs> or you you your date or you decide. You decide on a lot of this stuff. The baby bottle means maybe you have a um, for fertile connection to music between you you have the intelligent Gemini you have the um, uh, what is that <laughs> dinosaur the dinosaur to me represents like knowing somebody for a long time or somebody could be like significantly older than the other person here you have 31st something 
could be happening on the 31st, but not of August, because 30 days... Oh, no, August has 31. It's September that has 30. So, yeah, the 31st of August, something like the very, at the very end of the month, something crazy could happen. You've got um, the compass, so there's an, a new direction you're headed in, I guess. Maybe somebody will have pizza night. Maybe... Some one maybe one of you likes pizza, but one of you is more like a caviar kind of person. <laughs> but uh, you still like each other. You're caviar, he's pizza, but whatever, you get along. Like, I this makes me think that you the cutest picture that you see all everywhere in Austin is bicycles, like the evolution of a bike. There's like a man on, and the bicycle and then the anyway it's it's you know how you see those evolution pictures from the darwin one of the monkey turning into the man it's the same thing but with bicycles <laughs> this kind of makes me think of that but it makes me think of like a bicycle family like mama bike baby bike you know like you guys having kids you know having a family you got the trumpets something like Archangel Gabriel's like tooting his horn like could be reverie how does reverie, reverie go it goes um okay I'm blanking I'm getting a little sleepy I don't know what's going on my my head's getting fuzzy now um more music here and you have you got um St. Teresa of Calcutta. So you bless your connection. It's kind of like that, you know? Maybe you have like that kind of, she's one of your guides that helps you with your kindness and generosity. And you get this moon connection again. It's showing up. The moon connection and these psychic and these dreams and connecting like that. Okay, let's see what your, what your um, Scrabble has to say. There's my letter. I, f I found these letters um, tonight in... Um, when the, it was actually Kitty Cat who, who inspired me to go on tonight. And I saw my initials J-A, my first and middle. And there's C for cherry. And U and A and B and I. And P. VIP, very important person. CIA. Mm hmm. So if there's anything that you see, Ava. All right, that's all. I, I, the rest could be just initials, like a CJ or something like that. You, just Sina or something like that, maybe. Uh, let's see, an N. But anyway, like some people f will see like the majority of their la their name in there. You know, even if you're missing one or two letters, they could really be calling out to you. So. There you go, you guys. <laughs> I hope you like that. Big hugs to all my subscribers. And um, big hugs to all my visitors. Thanks for coming out. Just a little um, a fun channeled, not exactly channeled, but a fun um, message from your person and other messages. And kind of like laying out a story. This, this, this week seemed more story-like to me. And every week uh, something else kind of turns up. So... Um, a lot of you might not like the, you know, this style, maybe you want more channeled uh, message. And I, I tried that last week and it was very interesting. We could do that too sometimes. Let me know in the comment section what you're interested in. But, you know, be polite. You don't have to yell at me. <laughs> you can say what you like without, 
you know, saying those words like all or never. You know, I in psychology 101, when you communicate with people, you're supposed to use I statements and not tell the person, you know, absolutes like all or never, because those are really not true. Um, it's exaggerating for effect, but it's not exactly actually the truth. So I don't know why I'm saying that right now. But I mean, some people will comment like that, like you always do this or you never do this, <laughs> which is not true, because if you would look at every single solitary th pick a card that I've ever made, you will see that I will do something sometimes. <laughs> And yeah, so if you're interested, whatever you're interested in, you guys should, um, you should in search in YouTube, type my name, Cherry Enchantress, and then any topic that you're interested in, type it next to it, whatever it may be, and there's probably a pick a card for it. If there's not, then comment below and I will make you one, okay? Uh, I know I need to uh, update a lot of them, but, um, and there might be a lot out there that don't have charms attached to them. So let me know what subject matter you're interested in and we're gonna, I'll get back into doing a little bit more pick a cards. I just, I just guess I haven't been feeling um, your, what you guys want and then the world situation's just been kind of weighing so heavily, I'm wondering, do you guys want to know more about that stuff? You know, do you want to know about about the pandemic or the politics or anything else? Because that seems to be um, a you know really a strong energy right now in the world. And if you do, let me know. If you don't, if you just want to be escape and enjoy a fun reading about somebody that you have a crush on or that you're completely in love with or attached to in a twin flame way, I'm definitely happy to take you on that little escape with me all right you guys so i love you very much thank you all of those who subscribed and and my members too especially amira deshawn and lupe c who are my platinum pixies and all the rest of you i would name you so my throat started to, to be sore now and i think i need to go take go to bed now but Anyway, I felt like I really was feeling called to do this and hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Faith, trust and pixie dust.